Hello, hello everyone. Good evening po sa inyong lahat. So, I'm here na naman para makipagkwentohan sa inyo. At ikukontinue ko lang guys yung uh, before. Uh, I, I have posted in my Facebook account about uh, question and answer. So, it's about my life or it's about me, my work and whatsoever. So, many, many of my friends uh, write there or send me a message so that I will try my best impromptu. Nakabasa ko lang and then I will, I will, uh, I will answer it now. So, may lang ako nagka-time. It's already 1 a.m. in the morning. So, nakabasa ko lang sa kwarto. Uh, for my content, for my premiere, I will do this. Okay? Okay. Someone asked me. This one. <laughs> you see that? I have so many... I have so many friends who ask me questions. So now, this is the continuation of our question and answer. Okay. First question is from my friend from Jordan. Um, my very pretty friend. I'm very supportive of us. I just know her through YouTube, guys. She's very supportive. Uh, she's very pretty. Yeah. It's from Juju Nicer Castaverde. Hello, pretty Langa. Thank you so much for always supporting me, even though you have a work. Okay. So here is the question How does the pandemic has changed your life, and what have you learned? during these difficult times madam in daigamai yeah how does the pandemic has changed your life as an OFW here at Hong Kong I, since the the pandemic has started I think uh, last year January 2020 right yeah so almost a year already so I did not go out. I don't have day off, so it's hard for me because I'm I'm in this house for almost a year. No day off. Just uh, just send money. They give me two hours and I come back home. No meeting of friends. No meeting my sister here at Hong Kong. Nothing. So just yes, stay at home no choice because they are the boss so i need to follow them it's for my own sake to so so just unfair guys because they don't allow me to go out right then but then almost every day they go out they eat with their friends they meet with their friends and me i just stay at home so that time I think about YouTube already <laughs> my friend my best friend asked me already that to continue my YouTube but no I said to her I'm a busy I don't have time for that and then she pushed me pushed and then, and then here I am it changed a lot even though I but even though I am busy, uh, uh, I just give time for my YouTube. It, uh, I enjoy. Sometimes I stress out because I need to make some more contents, but I don't have day off. I can't go outside. I can't take videos. So I just decided. <laughs> only myself you can see only myself i can't be you outside you know when i'm cooking you cannot you know the boss you know my boss guys so hopefully i answer your question my pretty langa uh how can i how you handle her uh, 
What have you learned during this difficult time? Whatever, uh, I learned so much. Uh, I learned that I need to value every time. I need to make time, make an effort for your family. Because of this pandemic, I'm just so sad because I was not able to to take care of my daughter uh, during this time but I'm so happy but because she can understand hoping for the for the future she will understand what I'm doing her why I'm afar from here so it will happen okay next What is your best attractive being a person? Maybe I don't have. <laughs> Maybe I don't have. I'm not beautiful. I'm not, you know, I'm just a simple girl. And just when you when you look at me, you can say that, oh, she's so glad. She's so masonic right there. That's the impression when you saw me, yeah. But when you know me, guys, I'm just a local, also. Uh, maybe I just enhance what my boss because my boss is a very, very serious person. So, uh, okay. This is to being a person. Uh, I don't know. My friends can tell, my family can tell. For me, I'm just a simple girl. I'm just a simple woman, guys. No more, you know. <laughs> I can't answer that. <laughs> Thank you, Mistress Marie Padawan. And Ted, uh, one of my friends. Friend, or so, anong masakit? Ang paasaw, paasahin ng asawa or paaasahin ng nangutang na di naman nagbayad? Hmm? It's about the tap. <laughs> you know guys, when you have utang, you need to pay it. If you can't pay it fully, Ah, uh, tawag nito. Ah, uh, pautay-utay. At least nabayaran, di ba? Kaysa naman ililimutin mo na. Yes, lahat naman tayo may utang, guys. But you need to be responsible enough for your utang. Di ba? Hindi ko alam. Masakit na paasahin ng asawa or paasahin na ng utang. Maybe paasahin ng asawa? Maybe? Because ang utang, someone can can pay you installment like that, pero yung paasaw, paasahin ka ng asawa mo, mas masakit. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. And then, my best friend, oh, I miss you, gang. I'm here lang. My best friend is Mariko Rubensana. Hello. Hello, my best friend. And then, and then, mm, what is the, I need to filter the most question, the first, uh, newest question, okay. How do you value your family or re relatives in life? Uh, maybe for me, if, uh, yeah, I admit it that I have a very, very uh, few hours or few times uh, for them because I'm just a busy person all day. So I try my best when I have a day off 
I try my best or or I have a time uh, when my boss go out I should I should update them especially my daughter I ask when she okay and then she always uh, responds me through voicemail she's six years old I'm just happy because she knows it already and she can she can uh, write it down I love you mommy so I'm so happy guys because my daughter is six year old six years old she know how to write it that already in her phone I buy I bought a phone for her so and then relatives of course if you have an if I have an extra you know if I have a, a side for a gift to my daughter to my uh, family if I have an extra and someone asks me I can I can give them or just come to them right? you need to communication is the best for the family for the whole family for your family especially in Pinas because they need that and also I need that I need someone to talk I need someone to to lean on that I need care also guys of course because every day here is so stressful so I need to find myself kung paano siya i i tawag nito i cover up or i handle lahat ng situation because if you're an, an, an OFW depression is napakalapit so dapat yung family sa Pinas can understand the feelings of an, an, an OFW or your family in abroad you need to uh, you need to always communicate guys uh, kailangan yun may hingin man or wala kailangan mong kumustahin yung pamilya ah, yung relatives mo na nasa abroad because you never know how they handle the situation how they handle the hardship the mga emotion dahil malayo sa pamilya nila tulad ko siguro kung kung hindi lang ako tawag nito kung hindi na ako natuto minsan tumatating yung time na I was just see myself crying yeah I've been three years here but malambot pa rin kaya pag day off ko lalo na mag isa na naman I'm just hanging around take a video or take a photos and then uh, save it for my content and then the rest talk to my daughter talk to my mother uh, 